Hi, my name is Avery Vandenberg and I'm the social media manager for the Iowa Caucus Project. Last week, I had the opportunity to sit down with presidential candidate Mary Williamson. Let's see how it went. Um, to start off with, could you introduce yourself in five words? Mother, woman, American, hopeful, mm -hmm. serious. You're on Drake University's campus right now and you spoke to college students tonight. Why do you think young people should vote? Well, every American should vote of every age, of every voting age. I think we should probably lower the voting age, as a matter of fact. Um, this is your country. Mm -hmm. That's where you should vote. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's, and, and you should do more than vote. Mm -hmm. if, if your government hears from you every two years, every four years, but huge corporate, multinational corporate lobbyists are hearing from your uh, elected representatives almost every hour of every day, why are you complaining if the whole thing seems sort of taken away? Uh, I believe cynicism is just an excuse for not helping. Absolutely. Do you pay attention to horoscopes? Yeah. What do you not think? to horoscopes, but to the larger... I look at astrology, so you know I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. I always say I look at astrology like I look at the Jews. There must be something to it because it's gone on for thousands of years. <laughs> what do you think my horoscope is? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you talk a lot about bringing love into politics, but what can we do to actualize that on an everyday basis? I think that it begins with ourselves, you know. Mahatma Gandhi, in his uh, philosophy of nonviolence as a political tool, said that said that it begins with self-purification. I've been saying recently how a smug, self-righteous, intolerant left-winger is no less dangerous to the fabric of our nation than a smug, self-righteous, intolerant right-winger. We are living in mean-spirited times. There's way too much shutdown. It's one thing to disagree with someone, but. Too many people are saying, shut up. Just right. because you, you know, if you don't like what I said, you don't get to say, shut up. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all have to monitor ourselves. Everybody's pointing the finger at other people these days. And I think the main problem is the point of finger. So I think it does have to begin. You know, we, can, we can't complain that American foreign policy lacks mercy or lack compassion. If we ourselves lack mercy and compassion. Mm -hmm. We need changes on the inside and changes on the outside. We need an integrated politics, and that includes personal politics. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Um, Age of 17, is that what it's called? Good one. Yeah. That's a personal favorite also. Who is a big political inspiration for you? Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King. Do you have a question for me? Well, I asked you where you came from. Mm -hmm. I sort of feel like the most things that I'm curious about, I see. Mm -hmm. You're here, you're doing this, you're mm -hmm. obviously empowered <laughs> within the space of what you're doing. I think the serious part that I talked about with myself, I see in you as well. Mm -hmm. The things that seem that are appropriate for me to know, I already sort of feel I, I energetically pick up. All right. That's all I have. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Oh my gosh.